What's the first thing you learn on the street? You try not to get too high or too low. You just learn to watch your back. People can come into your life and you can become very close and then they're gone in a week and you never see them again. And do you see yourself always on the street or do you see yourself getting off? If you got a plan, I'm willing to listen. You know, it's like, what about love? What about it? Well, what if you fell in love with something? Wouldn't that make a difference? Yeah. He was all alone, and so we thought. An entire world below his skull, millennia ago, Pangea began to float apart. But despite that distance, those he now knows abroad are there with him, even though they're not. The bond that music forms spans infinity, transcends proximities, by himself, but not alone. Paradox and chemistry, brotherhood merges Germany, Canada, and in between, they share common interests. People who constitute his siblings, they give him reasons to want to leave the solitude he lives with. Much like a star, he roams planes largely unoccupied, but just as far as those stars are not combined, he takes a step back and counts the stars across the sky. There are many, but when you focus, microscopic, the rest lie outside the outline of what you decided to notice. He learns his lesson for humble and curse acceptance, while pride can blind the stubborn and blur the message. That's not to say that such mistakes would not recur, they're expected, he's always been alone. So the Despite his new family spread across the spinning globe, a certain degree of isolation is still his home. A lone wolf who abandoned the pack. He went in head first without a plan of attack. He had managed to stack about a grand in a sack, buried deep in some sand in the burlap behind a abandoned building with a landing collapsed. It was a day he ran away, unsure of where he'd have to stay, but that's the breaks. He didn't believe in the words he'd have to say. I'm sorry, it would have been end of story. The weather added to the sad display. Never again would he ever look his dad in his face. He was quick witted, but he hadn't even passed him out. So called friends became estranged when he asked to crash the couch. He was this bastard now, someone they would laugh about. It got to the point where he's well past the doubt that all of his luck could last right now. His funds evaporated like water. He took refuge at the condemned building, sleeping in a dilapidated corner. Burning junk kept him captivated and warmer. Years passed by as he began panhandling. But the saddest thing was reflecting. Of his face and loose change, his dad just handed him. James, Penny, anything, please? Where's your family? Do I have one anymore? That's a shame.